Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the modded playthrough. We're here on the 39th episode and today my friends is grinding day. We have to get all of our display areas back up to date and that is going to involve us trying to get ourselves the master mode drop for the lunatic cultist, the master mode drop for the moon lord and also the mask for astrum deus and yeah, it will give us an opportunity to start using a whole bunch of our upgraded gear and weaponry. So, one of the things I've tried to do since the last episode is I have tried to purchase 30 of each of these because, well, they're now available. The Calamity Combination, as you can see, grants most buffs from Calamity Mod Potion. So that's going to be things like the Yarim Stimulants, Cadence, Titan Scale, Soaring, Bounding, and Fab Souls Vodka. It is quite expensive. I've got 28 out of 30 of them. And then check this out, even more expensive still, the Universal Combination gives combined effects of tank, ranger, mage, and summoner combinations in a single buff. So yeah, I think getting 30 of each of these would be a very, very good idea. The other thing that would be a good idea is for us to finally start digging up some astral ore. We're going to make ourselves some astral armor today before we get started on a bunch of boss grinding. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are excited for today's episode and you want to continue supporting the series, I would really appreciate it if you'd head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you do want to go one further with your support you can use code python when ordering any of my apex gaming pcs for five percent off or any merch at terraria.shop for 15 percent off so then let's see boom oh yeah oh yeah that's that's a lot of astral ore we just got there <laughs> Presumably, we make this stuff at... Oh, wait, where do we make this stuff? Oh, you require stardust as well. So there we have it. Astral bars, ladies and gentlemen. We can make a whopping 127 of them. So then, the question is, how do we make the astral armor? Checking it out, we require meteorite bars as well. But anyways, let's check out some of the other stuff. You can get the diaphic amulet right here, which we can and actually made, which is pretty awesome. The ethereal core permanently increases maximum mana by 50. That's going to be useful if we manage to switch to a mage loadout at any point. And then we've got some other bits and bobs as well. Astral bow, a bunch of stuff that we've already seen. The solstice claymore changes projectile color based on the time of year, inflicts day broken during the day and night with it during the night. Man, does that sound badass. Whoa. We can now purchase all the way up to Chlorophyte now. That's pretty cool. But what I need is actually Meteorite because I don't have a great deal of it back at base. And obviously, we need it so we can make ourselves the Astral Armor. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. We've got a bunch of that going on. Uh, astral Armor is made dot, dot, dot over at the Ancient Manipulator, presumably. Yep, there it is. Plus 80 max mana and plus 20 life creature detection. Interesting. We've got the Astral Helm with danger detection. And with the leggings, you get increased movement speed and treasure and ore detection. Now, that's interesting. What do we get for a set bonus? 5% increased movement speed and plus 3 max minions. That's something you guys were mentioning. 35% increased damage and 25% increased crit chance. Wow. Whenever you crit an enemy, a barrage of stars will rain down. This effect has a 1 second cooldown. Holy crap, holy. Wow. Okay. 71% crit chance. 61% crit chance. Damn! So there we have it. Finally, the Reaver armor is getting put away. It is very possible we might wind up getting it back out for whatever reason. It's just great. I've loved this set of armor. In fact, I would go as far as to say that this is my favorite set of armor in the whole mod so far. Obviously, there could be more epic ones to come, but at this particular point, I'm going to say that the Reaver armor is my favorite, and more to the point, the defensive Reaver armor. Check it out, but of a random upgrade, but we've got the Alchemist Charm Tier 4. Coming up next is the Dawnlight Spirit Origin. Believe it or not, we can make this. I'm just not entirely sure where. Oh, that's because I didn't have the Deadshot Brooch taken off. Okay, right. Let's try this again then. It's somewhere around it. There it is. The Dawnlight Spirit Origin. 
There's a lot to read there, so I'll give you guys a second. <laughs> I think one of the most notable things here is towards the bottom. Summons a heroic spirit from another world if accessory visibility is enabled. A heroic spirit is also summoned when this accessory is placed in vanity slots. So if I put it here, we got this gal with us. But then when it's actually on... She disappears. So check it out, my friends. Coming up next is the Diaphic Amulet. I don't know where this is made again. Uh, not over here, as far as I know. Right, it has to be over here. In which case, it's somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. There it is. Diaphic Amulet. Causes stars to fall and grants increased immune time when damaged. Provides life regen and reduces cooldown of healing potions. It actually remains a material for dot 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 the rampart of deities. The final two things I want to make are the solstice claymore and the true biome blade. So let's get them done. All right, armored skeletons. Those are the dudes we need to take out if we want to get ourselves a beam sword. We'll do that in just a bit here. For now, though, I think we should be able to make ourselves... The true biome blade. The interesting thing is we haven't even done anything with any biome blade in this entire series so far. So it actually turns out we need to make ourselves the broken biome blade first and then start going through the motions really. Starting off with the broken biome blade. There it is. 92 melee damage. Next up is the regular biome blade at 158 melee damage. And ladies and gentlemen immediately here we can make ourselves the true biome blade. Remains in material. We'll check out what for in just a sec but 395 melee damage is what we're going to be doing. Requires a core of calamity, 3 astral bars and 3 life alloys. Bada bing bada boom. So the next upgrade for it is the Galaxia coming in at a whopping 1582 melee damage. Requires Cosmolite bars and Dark Sun fragments, which again means having to take down the Devourer of Gods. There seems to be a lot of things that we want to make that are hidden behind Doggo here. Oh my god! What the hell is this, man? <laughs> Oh, okay. Active attunement, swordsmith's pride. Passive attunement, sanguine fury. You right click to switch them around, basically. So I got this one. Whoa! I got this one from the desert. And then I got this 360 field of fire blade thing from the forest biome here. So then, a beam sword, you say? There's only one thing we need to do here, eh? Yeah, baby. Time to start going to town on these poor fellas. The most notable thing is the fact that this appears to shoot through the ground as well. Which makes it pretty damn devastating. Armored Digger has awoken. Well, what a lot of poo that is. Random mini bosses spawning in. I didn't even know that guy existed. I can only imagine that's foreshadowing for certain bosses to come. You know what, my friends? I genuinely believe that this battle cry is no longer cutting the mustard. So you know what that means, don't you? We are going to go for the almighty. We're going to go for both the battle cry and the zerg potion simultaneously. <laughs> there they are, zerg potions. <laughs> <laughs> so then, no enemies nearby, one enemy nearby in the form of this earth elemental here. Yeah, this guy needs to go uh, bye 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 There we have it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Zerg time. One enemy nearby, two, four, six, seven. Oh my goodness me, but I don't think it's going to be enough. We're going to put the battle cry on as well. 30, whoa, 60, 80, 90, over 100. Hey, we got a beam sword! Sweet! Well, we're done already. <laughs> That's the calamity I remember. 100 plus enemies on your screen, literally destroying your frame rate. <laughs> so yeah, that took all of what? About 5 to 10 seconds? Yeah. I'll take it. I will most certainly take it. In fact, look at that. We got two beam swords for crying out loud. So then, Solstice Claymore. Finally, we got it. 593 melee damage, 46% crit chance, remains a material, changes projectile color based on time of year. And yeah, we've already gone ahead and had a look at the tooltip. So yeah, this should be an interesting one. Ooh. Whoa! 
That's that's a lot of DPS right there, my friend. <laughs> so about 12 to 13,000 damage per second with the Solstice Claymore here. How about with this? 18,000, 20,000, 21,000. What if I was to change the attunement? And we wait for this thing to fire up here real quick. Whoa. Okay, about 10,000-ish. And then we've got the good old Ark of the Elements, which, um, as you can see, 45,000, 50,000 damage per second, I think I saw there for a sec. So out of all of that, the Ark of the Elements still comes out on top, eh? <laughs> There we are. Calamity combination has been obtained. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see how many of these we can get. 14 out of 30. We'll have 30 of both of these by the end of today's episode. Ah, interesting. So you can summon the Lunatic Cultist and it not spawn the pillars afterwards with the Zealot's Possession. Summons Lunatic Cultist does not spawn the pillars if Lunatic Cultist has been defeated before. Boom. Here we go. We are going to try the Ark of the Elements, okay? So give me just a second and we shall see what this bad boy- Oh my god. Oh, successful parry as well. Oh, you'd love to see it. Oh my god, this guy is getting torn apart. And so am I. Um, you know, it would have been nice if I didn't get frozen on the spot. Anyways, you guys saw nothing. Uh, we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. And we're going to defeat him this next time. I mean, this first time. Boom! Time again, is it, sir? Come on, then, you son of a gun. You're not killing me this time, and you're certainly not going to freeze me on the spot, you son of a turd boy. There we are. Took plenty of damage. This guy's getting torn a new one. Love to see it. Gotta make sure we don't get frozen on the spot like we are right now. Okay, can you, like, stop with that? I would really appreciate it. Tar much, Lee. And there we go. He is dead. Oh, I think we just got it as well. Yeah! Tablet fragment. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Wait! They're still here? That's alarming. Does not spawn the pillars if Lunatic Cultist has been defeated before. It has been defeated before. Right, uh, my hope right now, ladies and gentlemen, my hope is that what I'll be able to do is simply cancel off these events. Boom. Yeah, celestial creatures are not invading. That's more like it. So then, finally, ladies and gentlemen, we can finish off the lunatic cultist area. Love to see it. Now, as much as Astrum Deus would technically be their next boss in progression, I'd be pretty okay with just skipping this in favor of trying to get the mask from a bought treasure bag. So what that means for us is we are going to go straight on to trying to take down the Moon Lord a few times because we need the master mode drop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ark of the Elements. Yeah, this should be an interesting one. An interesting one indeed. So, as always, it's going to be that top eye. That's going to be the stickler. We'll see how we do, though. There we are. Above and beyond. Maybe get a little bit of parry. Oh, we missed. We missed the darn parry. You hate to see it, my friends. Hate to see it. All right. And would you believe we've already got ourselves a little... Oh, my God. Okay, this is, uh, okay, that guy. Oh, my word. What the heck? Okay. Um, absolutely tearing this guy apart. <laughs> we got more to have a limb, but we don't need it because he's bloody dead. To look at that, we got ourselves the master mode drop. Oh, RNG for once in its sordid life. For once in its sordid life, it's on my side. First time taking down the lunatic quarters today, we got ourselves the master mode drop. And first time taking down the moon lord today with a melee only loadout. And we got the master mode drop. Okay, very, very good. The next thing that would really put the icing on the cake, and I realize we didn't even have our Celestial Shell on for that fight. Turns out we didn't even need it. Guys, we've got the Greedy Ring. We are going to see if we can get for ourselves another Astrum Deus treasure bag. Okie dokie. Uh, five Platinum. Darn it! I don't have enough money. Okay, maybe I can scrounge up enough by selling 
uh, a bunch of this here stuff because a lot of it is just duplicates. Uh, Astrum Deus. Boom! We're looking for a mask. Neither of those are masks. Darn it. And you get a very little amount of platinum back. All right. In he comes. Astrum Deus. My friends, let's tear this guy apart, shall we? Oh, my God. That health bar. 75,000 damage per second near his damage. All right. We're already on Splitsville, my friends. So, uh, yeah. The devastation continues. Oh, my word. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Ah! Python's infection spread too far. Wait, eight platinum was dropped? Ooh. Ooh, I want to get that back. Oh, once again, I didn't have my celestial shell on. That is me missing out on a whole bunch of potential extra damage. 1420, and it would have gone up to 1524. That's 100 damage. That's a hell of a lot of an increase, isn't it? All right. Astrum Deus, we're looking for a mask, and neither of those are a mask. The bandana, it's from the Calamity Vanities mod, though, so I don't think it is the mask. Let's go again. What do we got here? Star Sputter. There it is. Yeah! So then, ladies and gentlemen, finally, we have ourselves all of our display areas back up to date. Master mode drop for the Lunatic Cultist and Moon Lord, and the mask for the Astrum Deus boss. That means in the next episode, we can finally move on to the next boss in progression, which is the Profaned Guardians. Oh, snap. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also dreading it simultaneously. So, um... Yeah. Oh, we're up to 19 universal combination flasks here. We need 11 more, which means we need a whole bunch more money. Sod it. Let's farm Moon Lord a few times. We'll get a whole bunch of money that way, won't we? Alrighty, that's one taken down, and we get about four platinum coins. How many more flasks will we be able to get with that? Uh, probably not many, but it's going to make at least some progress. Oh, 27 now. All right, one more, and we should have this in the bag. Oh, crap. Man, do I suck sometimes. I just got hit four times in a fudging row. That's not good, Python. Come on now. You're slacking a bit now. Just failing because I feel like I'm way overpowered. I am, but I'm getting a bit careless now. Come on, Python. There we are. No more Moon Lords ever needing to be taken down. We're done, my friends. Let's get these flasks. Let's do the comment of the day. And let's wrap up this episode, eh? What do you think? There we are. Very cool. We got ourselves a bunch of money. There we are. 30 universal combo pots. <laughs> now what we do is we place these bad boys within here. And there we have it. We have universal combination, Ultima cake. We've got the calamity combination and the omniscience pot. Damn! The weird thing is, we've got less health. I've got 100 health less than what I would normally have. I usually have 725, but for some reason, I've got 625. The universal combination seems to subtract some of your health for some reason. That is weird. But anyways, I don't think it matters too much, my friends. Today's comments of the day comes from SpeedyMat123, who says, Beware the post-Moon Lord bosses. They're likely going to take you a bunch of attempts, so don't be surprised if you die a lot in future. Astrum Deus was only a warm-up. <laughs> hey, I appreciate the heads up. It's worth noting that I have actually completed a Calamity series. It was quite a long time in the past, though. So... Yeah, I'm imagining, as you say, quite a lot of deaths in the future as we try to model our way through all of the post-Moon Lord Calamity bosses. As with all of the other modded bosses, though, I feel like as soon as I learn and perfect the AI in my head, we should have all of these things in the bag. So, yeah. My friends, we've got a lot of epic things to look forward to. Epic weapons, epic bosses, epic times. I'm looking forward to it all. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and you're excited to see more, do be sure to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.